video that I wanted your help with. I figured I'd paint one half of the face and you could paint the other half of the face. Oh yeah, no problem. Oh, oh, great. That's so easy. So, yeah. Um, so mm -hmm. we'd be basically demonstrating how to paint realistic eyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Easiest part um, of the face. Okay. Windows is so got it. Uh, good, but I I just wanted to make sure you knew before we got into it that mm -hmm. you know the reason I want your help is because I'd be yeah, demonstrating. So like yes. No, I understand. We're demonstrating realistic eyes. Um, my side of the face. Yeah. It's be really I, I good. Just, it'd be demonstrating. Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, we got a lot to do. You are moving, okay, but we're packing. I've got a watermelon. It's really getting heavy. I think it's time for us to just go ahead sure. and get started. I I know what I'm doing. We'll be fine. All right. Yeah. 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 So with a little help from Hoodie, we are going to do a do's and don'ts of painting realistic eyes today. Thank you to Super Ray Dizzle for her do's and don'ts of drawing realistic eyes inspiration for today's video. I will link it in the description below. And without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Welcome to the voiceover. Straight away we're going in with a very peachy tone. Without Huddy using any complimentary colors, we get a very bright pink on our skin. We want a more muted tone next time. And with a straight white on our eyeball, we do not have any definition of the actual spherical shape of our eyeball, so that is why shading is very important here. On our iris, Hoodie went in with a straight brown. Most irises are going to have a bit more color contrast and definition, especially my eyes are actually a hazel versus a brown. Now on those eyelashes, Hoodie had much too large of a paintbrush for this task. While Hoodie did a great job in fanning the eyelashes away from the eyeball, you want to create a bit of a thicker base and then move toward a thinner tip at the end. That eyebrow is just one solid block versus doing the individual structure of it. And while Hoodie did a great job acknowledging that little inner fleshy corner, we want to make sure we do a mixed color versus a straight from the tube red. Lots of black outlining is going into this and very flat colors. Without any shading, you're not going to have a realistic overall effect. Now on my side, I very weirdly decided to go in and do the eyelashes at first, but quickly abandoned that and went right into my iris. Now I have a blue outer rim followed by a green and then a brown in the middle. I think it's important to paint what you're seeing directly in your reference photo and not just assume you know what colors you're working with. And I do emphasize using a reference photo for your portraits if you are in fact going for a realistic look. Now on my side, I am using a blue to show the shadows where the eye is more recessed in the face and only hitting the very front of the eyeball with that bright white to show that it is protruding the most and getting light on top of it. Showing a little bit of light reflecting in the eyeball, depending on your light source that might look a little different. And then for my outlining around my eye, I am using more naturalistic pinks and browns versus a black outline and creating a waterline on the bottom. That waterline will be where our eyelashes come out of on the bottom of the eye, whereas Hoodie did them straight from the eyeball, we actually want them to come out of the waterline. Next, I'm doing a crease in my eyelid. Since I do have a creased out eyelid, you may have more of a hooded shape. And we are going in and using that same color to define the outside of the eyeball and putting a little bit of pink in that inner corner versus the straight red. Onto the outside of our eyeball, you want to make sure you are hitting the brow bone and cheekbone with the highlights. They are the most protruding on the face so they get more light on them, whereas the inside socket of your eye is going to have a lot more shadowing. It is more recessed. And now onto those eyebrows. We want to do a thin brush with individual hairs growing in the direction that your hairs naturally grow going up in the inner corner and moving towards the tail. If you do have little flyaway hairs like I do, you can put those in as well. More definition in our uh, eyebrow crease, eye eyelid crease. And now onto our eyelashes, which are thick at the base and get thinner to the tip. You wanna make sure you do fan it around the eyeball, but if you have some crisscrossing ones, that is actually quite natural to see that. And now we are doing very thin, light bottom lashes, much shorter than the top lashes. Just going to define our shadows and highlights a bit more, show the actual bone structure coming through. That bone structure is everything in showing what the person looks like. So really make sure you're getting your shading correct. And then like Hoodie, I am going to put in 
some of those little creases under my eyes and some freckles, but we're gonna use much more um, purpley brown tones versus a black. If you guys are interested in some of the do's and don'ts of the other facial features, make sure you leave it in the comments below. I am very interested in doing the do's and don'ts of realistic hair. It's very simple to achieve once you get a grasp of it. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, make sure you hit the like button on this video so I can gauge some interest. And there you have it. Here is our finished product. actually stoked about the way this came out. I love the contrast of looking at the do's and don'ts. Do's and don'ts. Don'ts. And a big thank you to Hoodie for being so willing to demonstrate some of the amateur mistakes that are made in the process of making our realistic eyes. Well, I think things are sorted between me and Hoodie now after that little miscommunication. Whew. If you guys are interested in seeing the do's and don'ts of realistic hair painting, make sure you drop a like on this video and we will see you guys next Friday. Bye.